Okay, welcome to getting it done north of seven. I had this screw in my tire. I had to put air in it one night, and then the next day I noticed it was low again, so I checked it out, and lo and behold, I had a screw in it. Picked it up somewhere. So I just used a pair of pliers like this to get the screw out. If you don't have a head on it that you can grip and, and pry that screw out, you can push it through with this tool here. Now you can get a tire plug kit just about anywhere. This is what it looks like. You get one of these tools, you got one of these tools here, and you have these plugs. So now that I got the screw out, what you want to do is just work this tool in and out about three, four, or five times. And that cleans the hole. This is what this tool looks like. It's just like a file. It just goes up and down and cleans it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take one of these plugs out. These kits are inexpensive and it's a good temporary fix. Because tomorrow I'm busy, so I don't have time to go get my tire fixed right away. I'll have to wait till Monday because tomorrow is Saturday. So we're just going to take this tool here and we're going to work this plug through here. So this is going to be just a temporary fix so that we can get it on the road and use the truck. And then we can uh, get it fixed at a later date. So we want this plug to go through here and about halfway up to here in the, on the plug. We have the plug halfway into this tool like this. Okay, now we're going to push this plug into this hole, but don't go all the way in. So we're going to use this tool to push it in like this. And we're going to work it in there slowly. Don't get too aggressive. All right, we got the plug placed in. Leave about this much out. And then now we're going to pull this tool out slowly and the plug will stay in. So like I said, it, it took a bit of work to get in because this is tough rubber. There's steel belts in here. It's not easy, but with a little work and twisting like this, it got the plug in. So now we're just going to pull it out slowly like this. Just take your time. You don't want to pull the plug out. It's coming. There we go. Our plug is in the hole. So now we're going to add the right amount of tire pressure, amount of air pressure, I mean, into the tire. And we'll check to see if our new plug leaks. All right, we added our air. Now we're going to check for leaks on our new plug. You hear air? That's my compressor. There is no air leaking out here. So now we're going to cut this flush. There we go. Just cut it off with a pair of side cutters. It'll, with the weight on the road, this is all going to push down inside, be even better. So this will be a good temporary fix until you get your tire fixed or a new tire. Because right now they can plug these with a patch on the inside of your tire. So it's like a plug and then a patch and it works really well. Mm -hmm. 